What's up everybody? Today we're going to take a look at my package. So today's unboxing is a package that I got from eBay. There's a number of different decks in it. Some of them are used, some of them are brand new. There was a seller on eBay selling a couple of things and they messaged me saying we had these other things if you were interested and they did a custom listen for it. It's time now to open the package and see what was in there. So of course, I've got a trusty Stanley knife. i use that to open it. So that's it opened, and now to see what's inside. So I see a nicey package with the, uh, the bubble wrap in there, which is always a bonus. So first out of the box, we have the black Jet Setters playing cards. And next up, we have the 52 plus Joker playing cards. And anyone who knows me, I'm a sucker for white and gold playing cards, so I was very interested in these. Next out of the box, is the JJ Abrams and Theory 11 Bad Robot playing cards. I saw these on the Theory 11 site when they were released as the sort of mystery package, so it's good to get a hand on these. And also in the packet, we have some Assy Wind Do You Want to Change Your Mind playing cards. I've seen a few of these prop up on eBay every now and again, so it was nice to, to grab a hold of one of these. And I do believe they were limited run, they were given out on his shows, so nice to get a rare deck. And last but not least, we have the Blue Knock. So the Knock by Alex Pandrea. It's quite a lot of them with different colour ranges and things like that, so they're all suited for different moves and different clothing, different styles. If you want a particular colour playing cards, then the Knock's the one for you, especially if you want just plain playing cards. Yes, yeah, so that's the five decks that I got on eBay. There's the two of them new and the three of them used. So it was nice just to grab a hold of some of them, especially the used ones, because I don't know about anyone else, but obviously with the playing cards, it's nice to play with them and actually use them for magic and things. And you can get them much cheaper than you would the brand new cards if they're being opened. And the majority of the time when you get them, they're from fellow collectors, so they're going to be in good condition. Or if they're not, then it will stay in a list and so you'll be able to get them for even cheaper. It's like these bad robot ones, they've been going for ridiculous money on eBay. And I managed to get this one really cheap just because it was opened. So it's nice just to have that in the collection because at the end of the day, unless you're just going to have them in your collection sealed up, you're going to end up opening them, so you might as well save a bit of money and get an open deck. What we're going to do now is just have a quick look at the decks on the other camera, just give them a close up and have a look around them. So first we have the Jet Setter playing cards, and these are the black version. You can see here, quite nice then. Premier Edition playing cards, also produced and designed by Jet Setter playing cards. See there, always fly private on the tuck case. So see straight out of the tuck case. I feel absolutely amazing. Get a lovely blank card, which I'm going to be doing a video on with blank cards and things like that. So you can see here, there's the box. It's got lovely aeroplanes on it in a pattern, so no matter which way the card is, it's that way. It's also got the Jet Set of Playing Cards logo on. Luxury brand quality decks. That's quite nice as well, the Ace of Hearts it's got a really nice big heart in the middle. The card card's quite nice, quite plain and simple. The Ace of Spade there, it's got the luxury jet set of playing cards. And obviously in the deck, you get a double backer. The Aces have the same large logo on them. Really nice. So yeah, the handle really nice, and you can tell that the one we played with a couple of times because it's still got that new deck feel to it. So yeah, I'm happy with these. So up next we have these, which is the 52 plus Jokers playing cards. And the, like I said earlier on, sucker for anything with white with the gold design. Just looks so classic and fantastic. Expert playing card company, designed by King's Wild Project. Just an awesome looking deck. The thing I like it is like the Nox, where you have the tuck case which opens on the side. Straight out of the deck, it just looks amazing. So you've got the 52, all embossed raised up there and also the dull 52 behind it on the, the designs. It doesn't have to be played with much because it's still got that new deck feel and like the, the quality down the side so it's really good especially with the bargain that I got it with it being used. So let's have a look through the deck. We've got the double jokers the same. Obviously the big ace of spades. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera but you can sort of see the background 
through the deck as well. And all the number cards are sort of quite nice. Slightly different design to the normal bicycle, but actually there's the core cards. They're really nice. Got quite a minimalistic border on the uh, on the core cards, and also on the pips, there's still quite a small border around them. So yeah, they're quite nice. Got a nice design on them. Another one happy with them. And these two here, I'll be saving them for another video where I'm going to do a unboxing and a review of them. The same with the other two cards that I've shown you on here, I'm going to do a more in-depth video of them coming up as well. And last but not least, for the other open deck, is the Bad Robot here. This is by the JJ Abrams and Theory 11, product of Bad Robot. On the back, it's got the mystery box design. To bring them out of the tuck box, they've got that new deck feel, so they haven't really been used that much, which is a fantastic bargain, especially when the prices that they are brand new is just ridiculous. So yeah, there's the Ace with the mystery box. Down the back, mystery box like that. Really nice back design. Actually, you got the jokers there as well. To have a look through, the, the number cards are fairly straightforward. There's nothing overly special about them. So yeah, looking through the uh, the number cards, they're just nice and simple really. You got the core cards, they've got like a, a robot-esque square feel to them. Yeah, they all look quite nice. Also, the red's just got a nice vibrant red on it. Just really pops out on the card. Again, same with the core cards. You've got the robot feel to it, and the red just pops it out from the card as well. And this one here, this has got an illusion. So it's got the instructions on the back of how to do it. So I'll be interested to look at that. And same with this one. This is also an illusion. It gives you the instructions on the back how to do it. So then when I do review the cards, I'll do those. So you've got the two jokers. They're quite similar. However, they've both got different colours on them. So yeah, that was a quick look at the decks that I got from eBay. And I'm going to be doing some more in-depth deck reviews and sort of photography and videography of each deck. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, then if you haven't already, give the channel subscribe, click the bell icon so you can see new videos after they're uploaded. And I'll be doing a lot more different things. So with your unboxings, the deck reviews, the photography, videography, and a lot more tutorials. I'd also been working on a Card Magic for Beginners series. So I'm going to be doing some more to that. And obviously a lot more different things as well in the near future. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.